Good morning. Would everyone please be seated? The Board of Trustees and the faculty of Bennington College are assembled here this morning to give formal voice to the awarding of degrees to the 84th graduating class. This assembly provides a fitting occasion to reaffirm the principles of this college. I want to begin by reading to you our traditional commencement statement. Bennington regards education as essential and ethical, no less than an intellectual process. It seeks to liberate and nurture the individuality, the creative intelligence, and the ethical and aesthetic sensibility of its students to the end that their richly varied natural endowments will be directed toward self-fulfillment and toward constructive social purposes. We believe that these educational goals are best served by demanding of our students active participation in the planning of their own programs and in the regulation of their own lives on campus. Student freedom is not the absence of restraint, however. It is rather the fullest possible substitution of habits of self-restraint for restraint imposed by others. The exercise of student freedom is the very condition of a meaningful education and an essential aspect of the nurture of free citizens dedicated to civilized values and capable of creative and constructive membership in society. The degrees we are about to award certify that these students have successfully met the standard of quality in academic achievement and of responsibility and citizenship set by the college. The extent to which they have fulfilled the college's and other important aims cannot be formally certified. But the degrees do indeed express our confidence that they have understood our ideals and that they will do credit to themselves and their communities. At Bennington, the award of the degree means at least one other thing. Education here is a reciprocal affair. We who are charged with the instruction and educational policy have received as well as given. We have learned from these students as well as taught and counseled them. The conferring of the degree is thus an acknowledgement of the contribution to ourselves personally and to the college which these students have made. We shall continue to follow these students with interest and affection as they take their roles in other communities. To those communities, we confidently recommend them. At Bennington, we shall miss them. And now, members of the graduating class, faculty, staff, families, and friends, I am honored to introduce to you a member of our distinguished faculty who will take this opportunity to address the community. It is my pleasure to welcome Sarah Harris, who teaches Spanish. Welcome, friends and families. President Silver, Dean and Provost Roche, trustees, faculty colleagues, and especially Bennington College, class of 2019. Thank you all for being here and celebrating this exciting moment. Special thanks to all the staff who make events like this possible, smooth, and really beautiful. As many who are drawn to Bennington College, I'm a curious person. I'm a researcher, and I relish being a lifelong learner. I learn from my students in every single class. So I began to prepare for this very moment by studying, gathering information. On YouTube, I rewatched several of my admired colleagues' recent speeches for inspiration and guidance, and I thought, oh dear. They were all so funny and so charming, so I decided to choose a different style. <laughs> In the wake of a really hard term for our community, I decided to stick with some hard truths. So here goes. 
Writing this speech was hard. Standing up here, delivering it, is hard. And guess what? College is also hard. And Bennington College is very hard. Here, you create and invent, you defend your choices, you determine your own path. You each make a path rather than following one made for you. But all of that is good because life after Bennington is hard too. There are no predetermined paths there either. And I have high hopes for you, Bennington class of 2019, because of what you've already done, what you've already shown us in your work and what you've made in our community. If this especially rough term at Bennington has given us something to hold on to, it's that we're stronger than we thought. We're tough. We've showed or learned how to find tenacity. When I was an undergrad, I chose a rough path too. And I'm honestly not sure I could have made it through if I'd had to make and not just choose that path. In fact, at the very moment when my classmates and I were to choose a major, I instead left school for a year to gain perspective and try out some potential careers. It was kind of like four FWTs all in one. One job I tried out was working closely with an at-risk child in a kindergarten. From him, I learned that precarity makes tenacity both more difficult and more essential. In that year, I also learned that I loved teaching, and I've been doing it ever since. Bennington is my favorite place to teach because the students are so curious. In a recent class I taught on cities and, li and their literature, we discussed how cities are alive, that each skyline is a cardiogram, measuring the heartbeat of that city, rising and falling in a unique pattern, measuring and making visible that city's life force. There's a huge church in Barcelona, visible from many areas of the city, and which gives shape to an especially recognizable skyline. For many reasons, this building offers us timely lessons on tenacity and further on the beauty of interdisciplinarity. Let me explain. The Sagrada Familia, primarily the work of Catalan architect Antoni Gaudí, has been in construction for 137 years. And it's still not done. Gaudí was inspired by natural, si uh, natural structures and he undertook a painstaking study of parabolas. His masterpiece draws from math and from art in equal measure. Gaudí himself once said, originality consists of going back to the origins, which he discovered through a careful study of biological and mathematical structures, and then used to create his art. The quirky form of the Sagrada Familia combines elements of Art Nouveau, Catalan modernism, and Spanish late Gothic design, along with organic imagery. Even though it's still an active construction site, it attracts nearly three million visitors a year. The spires of the city's most iconic towers, when it's finally finished, will make this the tallest church building in the world. Want to hear what was hard about creating this building? The project has never received any funding from government or official church sources. The models and plans for the building were burned and vandalized in anti-church attacks at the outset of Spain's Civil War in 1936. Another arsonist set fire to the sacristy in 2011. It didn't manage to get a proper building permit from the city council until this past October, 2018. It looks like construction might finally get finished around 2026, around the 100th anniversary of its architect's accidental death. In fact, when Gaudí died, only about 15% of the church had been built. And yet, the building continues to grow, to inspire, to draw visitors to the city, tenacity built it, and tenacity establishes its future. At Bennington College, you might also have felt like your work was never done. We often step back to reconsider traditions, 
we often tinker, reassess, reflect upon our choices. Even this tradition-soaked ceremony is in a new location today. Even our library is a lively and agile place, embodying the work of current and recent students and faculty. It's a beautiful work in progress, always. The first time I saw the construction site of the Sagrada Familia in person, I was 20. And it seemed to me like a giant drip sandcastle, or maybe a Dr. Seuss drawing. I didn't know then that the neighborhood around it, the Aishampla, had been designed to offer all residents equal uh, equity in access to resources. That Ildefonse Serda, the world's first modern urban planner, had conducted an in-depth socio-statistical study of the conditions of Barcelona's population. He used this research to enter a citywide contest to resolve overcrowding and unsanitary conditions in the walled city, where life expectancy for the working class was only 23 years. In response to this brutal inequity, Serda's big idea was to promote wellness through city planning. He proposed a system that offer, offered equal access to markets, hospitals, and schools. He wrote that there was a correct amount of space, which he called optimal hygienic density, to allocate to each citizen, and that each citizen deserved access regardless of their socioeconomic position. I love that. And get this, he didn't even win the contest. And yet, because of the promise of Serda's unique approach, which invented the modern science of urban planning, the government in Madrid overrode the jurors of the citywide contest. So, here comes some of that hard truth I warned you about. In the socially responsible city Serda had designed, the interdisciplinary architect, Antoni Gaudí, started working on his big biggest project. He managed several years of good work, but then he lost his most important patron, and he wrote, my good friends are all dead. I have no family, no clients, no fortune, nor anything. Just after composing that gloomy thought, the architect of many of the city's most iconic modernist structures got run down by a tram. And he was given subpar medical treatment because he was mistaken for a beggar. Equal access to resources, huh? Clearly, there still was, and there still is, plenty of work for us to do. What continued to live on was Gaudí's vision for his work, and this work took on a life of its own. Subsequent architects have managed the project, but each has tried to respect the original plans. What wasn't there when I, when I first visited the Sagrada Familia, and what was there on my most recent visit, soaring and spectacular stained glass windows lighting up the interior. Although you can only see this a few weeks out of the year, around the winter solstice, the nearly horizontal light makes the entire nave look like a warm sunset has come inside. Gaudí had written, sunshine is the best painter. Sorry, painting colleagues. And it is exciting to see how his centuries-old designs for this color-drenched space are finally getting realized. In the face of challenges, which you will certainly continue to encounter, one strategy I can suggest is that you practice tenacity. Unlike the stubbornness of perseverance, tenacity requires strategy, and it does take practice. When met with adversity, a tenacious person uses their indomitable will to reflect and improve their approach. At Bennington, we have offered you, and your world has offered you, many opportunities to practice tenacity, to defend your approach, to reflect upon your path. The good news is that with tenacity, each iteration becomes increasingly more effective. In fact, Many academic degrees are an exercise in tenacity more than intelligence, talent, or even hard work. The research bears this out. For instance, Angela Duckworth's research shows that people with a college degree tend to be more tenacious than people without a degree. Moreover, tenacity is an especially significant predictor of college performance for students of color attending predominantly white institutions. 
So if you're a member of a historically underrepresented group at Bennington, you may have or have had to develop a special kind of tenacity to make it to this day of your graduation. Furthermore, during your years at Bennington, we've been weathering one of the most contentious and polarized political periods in recent US history, and yet you made it here today. So, soon to be college graduates, it stands to reason that you already practice tenacity. And let's not forget that none of us can do this alone. I asked my colleagues for help getting this speech ready today. You've needed support from allies, many of whom are in this audience today or on this grass stage next to you. So thank you students for supporting each other and thank you families and friends for being there when things get hard. Can we give them a little applause? After today, most of you will leave this gorgeous campus. If in the future, you happen to find yourself in Barcelona, near the temple of the Sagrada Familia, you'll see the cranes and construction vehicles that have marked the skyline for five generations. Definitely fight the crowds of tourists and go inside. The enormous rainbows of light streaming through stained glass windows will take your breath away. This is a work in progress, a breathtaking, gorgeous work in progress. You, too, are a spectacular work in progress. So please remember to celebrate this about yourself. Continue tenaciously making your own path. You're not done tackling challenges, and we know you're ready for them. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Today we will ask the trustees to affirm the conferring of degrees on all the graduating members of the class of 2019. But first, we would like to recognize one member of the class at this time. Mira Hampartumian was a loved and admired member of the class of 2019 who made meaningful and beautiful contributions to our community here and elsewhere. Mira died just before she was able to receive her degree. Mr. Chairman, I present for the consideration of the trustees that the college formally recognize Mira's academic accomplishments by conferring to her the degree of Bachelor of Arts. I present for the consideration of the trustees to hereby confer a Bachelor of Arts degree to Mira Humperdinck-Mayen. Trustees, please signify your approval by rising. And thank you. Thank you, trustees. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will be sending Mira's diploma to her family. Please be seated. Will the provost and dean? present the recommendation for the award of degrees. President Silver, as Provost and Dean, I present the candidates for the award of the Bachelor of Arts degree. Candidates, please rise. That's you. <laughs> Members of the faculty, these students have fulfilled all requirements for graduation and are recommended for the award of the Bachelor of Arts degree. Do you nominate these candidates to the trustees for these purposes? If so, please signify your approval by rising. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. I present for the consideration of the trustees, the students you have heard formally nominated by the faculty for the Bachelor of Arts degree. Oh, you have a caterpillar. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, members of the Bennington College Board of Trustees, by charter, the power of conferring all degrees, diplomas, and honors from this institution is placed in your hands. You have witnessed the nomination of the faculty and the provost and dean. Please signify your approval by rising. Members of the graduating class, the trustees on the nomination of the faculty and the provost and dean are proud to award you the Bachelor of Arts degree with all the rights and privileges pertaining to those degrees here or elsewhere. Please remain standing so that your family, families and friends can applaud you. Please be seated. With this formal recognition of academic accomplishments, you join the company of those from this college and all other colleges and universities who have been admitted to the special opportunities and obligations which the Bachelor of Arts degree imply. Graduates, please come forward individually as your names are called. India Abbott. Ron Anahau. <laughs> Rob Asher. Gabriella Baben. Amanda Bacon. Haley Barbary. Lydia Barnes. <laughs> Mirza Bershevich. Madison Berg. <laughs> Jacob Sebastian Burke. Carling Burkout. <laughs> Akas Bandari. <laughs> Olivia Black. William Lee Bowers. Yeah. 
Kiara Meadow Brandy. Michaela August Brown. Josephine Bunnell. Matthias Campbell. Congratulations. Ronan Patrick Canty. Isabella Cassano. Esme Chant. <laughs> Livia Fisher Chesley. Michelle Cirillo. <laughs> Daniel Coelho. Leo Cohen. <laughs> Nathaniel Joaquin Contreras. Joe Coppola. <laughs> Nina Samar Cummins. Booker Cipriano Mitchell. Mira Helena Darham. Yeah. Fiona DeVito. Sam Diedrich. <laughs> Molly Dorr. Alexandra Patricia Earl Richardson. Woo! 
Bronwyn Edwards. Sarah Emerson. Leah Eversfield. <laughs> Jacob Failing. Raywin Amelia Fairless. Gabrielle Ferreras. Molly Fleiner Etheridge. Yeah. Molly Forgard. Scott Forlin. <laughs> Noah Fro. Inas Gatonim. <laughs> Annika Gage. Lucas Galante. Carlotta J. Gamboa. Sophia Gasparo. <laughs> Megan George. Alexander Ging. <laughs> Sadip Gary. Lydia Golitz. Yeah. 
Villemarie Gonzalez. Phoebe Grace. Yeah. Julia Renio Tostado. Isabel Greenberg. <laughs> Julia Greenberger. Monaco Gregory. <laughs> Antonia Grisanti. Growth. <laughs> Isabella Guida. Wang Haishin. Sarah Hamilton. Trevor Owen Harrington. <laughs> Michael M. Hitzelberger. Xander Holt. <laughs> Mariana Irasu. Odessa Sumner Jacobson. <laughs> Jessica John Do.
Evelyn Jimenez Galvez. Lisa Alexandra Jones. Matt Jones. <laughs> Wong Kai Ki. Addy Kong. Mirin Kapoor. Olivia Lee Keen. Jane Clara Emmeline Knoll. Bailey Kuszynski. Thank announcement. <laughs> C.G. Haynes. <laughs> Aubrey Lavender Cook. Leah Lee. <laughs> Eliza Lehner. Allison Levy. <laughs> Toby Lukowicz. Asad Jamal Malik. <laughs> Aiden Mantha. Adeline Ruth Marfolia. Yay! 
Yvette Martinez. Flannery Agnes McDonnell. Jack McCune. Taz Myers. Naomi Middleton. Bignat Mirenkovic. Amelia Miller. <laughs> Sam Mystery. Luigi Guardia Montu. <laughs> Shelby Moore. <laughs> Emma Nottenzan. Jacqueline Victoria Nation. <laughs> Young Nick. Hunter Cole O'Brien. Kameo Okamoto. Jasia Ame Oliver. Edward O'Mara. Yeah. 
Lucia Ordaz. Jesse J. Osborne. Kendra L. Ulet. Eric Paisley Pedro Jr. Ryder Parks. <laughs> Maddie Pasquale. Austin Patrick. <laughs> Samaya Patrick. Lucy Neal Perkins Madeline Peterson. <laughs> Caitlin Plukas. Lucia Pompetti. Foster Powell. Alex Ray. Yeah. Emma Alden Richardson. Yeah. Benny Rich. Logan Gray Robinson. <laughs> Catherine Rose.
<laughs> Cormac Roth. Emma Lynn Salazar. Raquel Marquez. Anna Saldinger. Camry Saldo. Cameron Schiller. Maddie Shepherdson. Christine Sicking. Theo Smith Miller. Trevor Stannis. Abby Virginia Starling. Anne Elizabeth Stone. Sarah Tiffin. <laughs> Matthew Tuckner. Phoebe Van Dusen. Andrea Victorian. Peter Voskel. Dexter Wadsworth. Lushik Waba. <laughs> Emily Walker.
Molly Warnka. Ariana Weber. Vareth Wilson. Isabel Genevieve Wing. Lily Withington. Benjamin Walinski. <laughs> Sam Wood. Joseph Philip Woodard Murdoch. In the name of all here assembled, trustees, faculty, staff, fellow students, parents, friends, family, I congratulate you. Congratulations, class 2019.